Sup YouTube, sup mix. So what we have here is another uh, clone saw, uh, and uh, we're gonna review it this evening. Uh, I've got it. I got it in earlier, and we're gonna unbox it. Came in a couple boxes from Amazon, just like the, some of my other saws, and like the Pink Way. It came in. Uh, you had the Amazon box on the outside, and then the company and send sup mix. Also uh, packed uh, this in a box, and then so this seems to be packaged fairly well. It has a little hand carrying. You can tell that that somewhere I would say this is going on a retail shelf, uh, or or they or they wouldn't pack it like this. At least that's my idea. I don't know, guys. Uh, some country it's going on a retail sh shelf. So here we got it. So it just says sup mix uh, warning. Uh, it's a hard hat deal here this and the, this and that talks about the 110 decibels as it always does that's about it packaging seems to be okay it's a little squashed uh, right here so we'll see huh let's get down to it hope everybody's doing good this evening uh, forgive me for the air conditioner it's uh I usually turn it off or you guys can hear better but I'm gonna speak up better so uh, if you, can, you can't hear me uh, but we're gonna get right into it. I don't leave that air conditioner on. The videos be real short. Of course, probably most people are like, just get to it, man. Just get to it. You do a lot of talking, but I, I like to talk. Uh, so we're gonna open this up and review it properly. And uh, uh, see what they sent us, right, guys? So I'm gonna go ahead and turn you down just a little bit. You may not be able to see my face as much, but you want to see the saw. Not my other one. So here we go. We open it up. Uh, sup mix. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, they really should have me do a commercial. Uh, so here we go. Another nice uh, tool case. Yesterday, uh, when I was uh, reviewing the uh, Pinkway, heck, the uh, the uh, uh, tool pouch was the best part of the tools. The tools were cheap. So here's a spark, extra spark plug. Uh, it says, thanks to the H and H spark plug. I don't know. I never. Uh, maybe this one. Nah, I'm sure it ain't. Uh, but we'll see. We'll keep it. We'll see. we'll uh, get some opinions online. See what it is. But it comes with an extra spark plug. Point the right way. H and H, we'll see. Uh, let's see what we got here. Oh, now. So it has a, a T handle. The part of it's uh, three and four millimeter. Hey, that's not bad, guys. I mean, for not bad. Not bad at all. Handy dandy scrunch. I said yesterday. Hey, if you want to keep find your scrunch in the in the uh, woods when you drop it, I paint my scrunches. Uh, I paint my scrunches some kind of neon color. That way, if I drop it, I can uh, I can find it. You know, like a neon orange or a neon something. You know, you feel? Okay. So here we got we got the a bar support and sup mix, sir. Pretty decent little bar. Uh, it's about the same quality of the pink way. Uh, it says sub mix on both sides, not just one. Some of these clones I've seen uh, put it only on one side. Uh, I don't know what they're saving there. Okay, and then so uh, it says it's an 18 and 20 inch scabbard. It says it both. I don't know. Maybe they use it for two different uh, machines. I'm not sure, but I have my saws on the wall. Another one of those nice little mixing bottles. Never use those. Now this is kind of cool. Uh, uh, so I use the big jugs of oil, uh, bar oil. I'm sure like everybody else does, especially as much milling as I do. And I, especially with the big jugs, uh, I always spill it down the dip. So this ain't bad. This is a cool little funnel. I'll use it. Absolutely, I'll use that. I'll support the sub sub mix. Oh, this up makes uh, fun, you bet. So, here's the chain guard. Also sporting sup mix. 
stickers. Yes, sir. A chain. Oh, well, I mean, it didn't really fool me. Let's not let's not lie. Uh, uh, but for, for about a half a nanosecond, I was like, "What did they do? What's that look like, guys?" It's not stuff. Stuff. Stop. Stop. Jane. So that's cool, man. Uh, it, it's a knockoff, obviously, of the of the steel chain. Those things. Uh, that makes me wonder. Uh, we've talked about in the past what saws these are, and Aaron Lynch uh, really helped me out today in uh, telling me uh, what kind of clone it was. Let's look at the quality of this. Of this, I don't know. We'll see. Uh, but it's Komatsu company that makes uh, makes these. Uh, uh, I forgot the name of it, but uh, they sold the company to, uh, to Husk, Husqvarna, to Husky, uh, for their emissions. From what I read, uh, they wanted the emissions uh, technology, and so Husqvarna bought it up the company that uh, made these saws, and I think they're, you know, they continue to make clones of them. Uh, but it makes me wonder if the saw they're trying to clone, although it has the, the on and off switch that I'm seeing here, that is much like, uh, let's see what we got. Sup makes owner's manual. Sup mix. Uh, I better, I better quit that. They, uh, they see my review. I want them to be, uh, I'm going to give an honest review all the time. But uh, I wouldn't mind some of these companies uh, filling in their heart to send me one of their machines. So we'll see how they review. Uh, but I'm gonna tell you something. I'm gonna tell you something very strongly. If these saws fail. I will tell you. I don't care about a free saw, guys. I don't. Uh, I sure don't. I really don't. Not over the point of leading any subscribers or anybody. We, we work hard for our money. So I'll always be honest with you guys. But so far, I've been I've been impressed with these saws. Uh, the pink way, and I've ran the sup mix before. Uh, somebody else had one that I knew, which is one of the reasons why I ordered this one. I actually ordered this one before the pink way came in. I was surprised to find out that uh, that uh, pink way, and it was it's the same saw, it's the same company, same dual port, same muffler as the pink way, exact same muffler. I'm checking it out. Look at that, same muffler. Absolutely, same plastic. Uh, it's made of the same quality. The handlebar doesn't have those things. Remember on the pink way, I was so happy about the handlebars like your like your bicycle would be. Uh, but that's okay. Um, I am seeing one difference between the pink way and this one here is it has a cover, an actual screw for your air. Now I like that. I really do. I ain't gonna lie. I like that. Uh, I don't like that little knob that they use I, I don't uh, but we'll see how that how I like this I don't know we'll see remember how much problems I had getting that and that just it looks like a Husqvarna clone guys it just does it does so they're obviously cloning the Husqvarna the Huskies and so because the reason I'm saying that because of the top of the hood I don't know that's just my opinion uh, yeah same air filter now this clicks in better uh, than the other saw did yesterday. <laughs> now instead of having the little knob on top, since they don't have that and they have it back here, looks like to me they put a little wing, plastic wing nut up here, surrounded by a metal piece of metal. Uh, we'll see. We'll see how that holds up. Probably gonna put some kind of aftermarket uh, adapted to some kind of steady filter. Uh, at least that's my idea. The Craftsman always does these filters. They're junk, man. They're junk. And so. Uh, well, they're slightly different than these, and uh, we'll see how they how these hold up. Maybe these will hold up. I don't know. Um, we'll find out. We're gonna run the crap out of them. We're gonna run this saw, and we're gonna run the the pink wave on the PM14 Norwood Mill. And race each other, each other. Uh, generic uh, uh, novice lumberjack Bodie Pennington uh, uh, race, uh, but but yeah, this thing comes with the same kind of filter. 
Smells like like the pink way. It looks like it smells like it's been run, so it has gas, a little bit of gas in it. Yeah, it, ha it had gas in it, so they've tested it. That's good, right? Uh, the only thing I don't like about when they test it is because I don't like these spark plugs. I just don't. Uh, but that's okay. Uh, I'll tell you what, here's a good feature. The gas tank. Transparent. You can see when you're starting to run low on fuel. It's not bad. Not bad at all. You know what I mean? So not all in all, not a bad saw. Uh, we're gonna see how she runs. Um, that's gonna be the true true test, right, guys? Um, it's gonna assemble. I'm not gonna do the assembling uh, right now for it. Uh, maybe I'll do. I'll do another video of running it. Um, my wife got excited for the pink way. Uh, she it was supposed to be a surprise. She busted me out when I was out here in the shop right after a video. I think she would watch the video. Uh, and so. Oh, the wingman. So I didn't get a chance. So I didn't get a chance to get a spark plug yet for it. Uh, uh, if somebody could help me out for the part number for the spark plug, that'd be cool. Might be able to cross. I'm sure we could cross reference it with the one that's in it or the extra one they gave us. And let's look up that brand. Of, let's look up that brand of uh, spark plug uh, again, Aaron. What do you think, buddy? If you get a chance to see this. You know, good looking saw. Hey guys. For the price point, now this one was even cheaper. Uh, without coupon code or anything like that, you're looking at 100, 120, I think, and it's a 62 cc saw. Can't beat that. Uh, it's not going to be 62. And again, we're going to measure this sucker out. Uh, can't get that done today. We're going to do it. We're going to do a video sometime this weekend of measuring both of them out because they one claims to be a 62. Uh, CC saw and the other one claims to be a 63 CC saw. They're never quite that and that's true with any brand guys Like I said yesterday, it, that's true with any brand. They all fib just a little bit uh, And, and it, it makes me wonder are you fibbing or are we just not quite? Uh, getting down the same uh, Way that they they measure I, I don't know it, it seems to me though I'm surrounded by a bunch of pretty smart guys on this channel on these uh, on the YouTube uh, and they've all saying the same thing. Aaron said it, Bo Bodie Pennington has said it, uh, uh, I've heard uh, Iron Horse say it, I've heard, I mean, I've seen, heard a lot of men say it. So so they're, they're always off just a little bit. So we're not gonna fault these guys too much for doing that, doing the same. Uh, the weight on this, ironically enough, is right there next to exactly what the pink way was. I believe it's somewhere around uh, 15 pounds pretty heavy saw but for a 60 something cc saw it should be uh metal metal for the handlebars feel better on this one or for the bar it feels better on this one but we'll see so there you have it uh they do come pre-tested at least mine did and the pink way did it seems like if this is uh september uh, 16th of 22 and so if if you're ordering these in this time span right now they're testing them uh, that's both good and bad. It's good that you know that most likely it should run. They're doing a quality control before it leaves the uh, terroristic fly. He's Al Qaeda, guys. Look, Al Qaeda fly. Anyway, if they're doing a uh, testing on it for quality control before it leaves the factory, they, to me it would be no reason for them to let it run the fat, leave the factory without making sure it ran. Or if they are making sure it runs, it must run. Okay, um, if they put gas in it, that's my point. So, we'll see. Oh, look at here. Another magnesium case. I always separate the shitty saws from the shittier saws. Uh, and I say that because, uh, uh, you know, the cost that they go through to put the magnesium case in, it, it's, it's more. Uh, guys, any of the materials in mass quantities when they're doing production, every little screw, every, you know, that's one of the reasons, at least from my research, uh, that they, the porting, uh, manufacturing ain't quite, or uh, yeah, of the cylinder ain't quite as good because uh, certain certain ways of pre-porting or porting at the at the uh, manufacturer, it costs a lot of money, and so there's certain ways I think some certain cylinders it's easier for them to produce. If that makes any sense, 
and uh, and so it's really a point of manufacturing and uh, I think they keep them toned down tuned down this a little bit uh, for that you know you're not blowing up your saw you know what I mean but as many of us we're tuning up our saws we're, we're, we're we really are doing this for hobby and sport some of us are doing it for work and play some of us are doing it for to make a living <coughs> so you know it just depends on what you're in there for to me this is all hobby for these saws my big bore saws you know, that makes my wood that makes the the, the you know, wood to replace and fix my home and that's very important to me so those saws are uh, I'm not going to mess around with as much and, I, and that's that's as far as my 660 to 880 and that kind of stuff but good looking saw can't complain for the price point uh, around hundred dollars you can have a 60 something cc saw class saw can't complain guys so sup uh, we'll see how it works YouTube you guys have a good evening be safe and like and subscribe if you like the content